Paige McPherson joins us now with more on this. So Paige, can you give us any insight into this highly secretive election process? Absolutely, Sneha. Well, as we all know, sun means politics. And indeed, this is the oldest electoral process in the world that has been ongoing since it began. Uh, this is, the, of course, the election of a new pope. Um, cardinals are getting together in Rome in Vatican City. They will be sitting in the Sistine Chapel starting this Tuesday to elect this new pope. Our David Aiken is there, and he's covered it all. And he even said, I, I recently found out that there is buzz of a possibility of a Canadian Pope. Now, there's no clear front runner, we'll say, in this race, but the buzz of the Canadian Pope certainly should be exciting for our Canadian viewers. So, just to give you a little bit of insight into the actual process um, to choose the new Bishop of Rome, head of the Catholic Church, that of course is the Pope, the Papal Conclave is a meeting of college, uh, the, the College of Cardinals. Uh, and they're all meeting in the Sistine Chapel. They've done it this way for half of the Catholic Church's existence. That's a very long time, of course. And uh, once they enter the Sistine Chapel, they are sworn to secrecy. So we don't really have any insight. Once this starts going on, we don't know what's going on in there. All of the electronics are going to be turned off. The entire building has been debugged. So it's a completely secret process. It's a secret ballot. And that all does begin this Tuesday. We're not really sure how long it's going to take, but certainly the media pressure will be on once that begins. So it should be a relatively quick process is what I'm hearing, Sneha. And what exactly, Paige, is guiding the Cardinal's decision? Do we have a sense of what they're looking for in a new Pope? Well, that really is the question going forward. Since we don't get to see behind these closed doors, you know, what exactly does it take to become the new Pope with so many, I guess, candidates, we could say? Well, our David Aiken was uh, in Rome today. He caught up with the Canadian Cardinal Thomas Collins, uh, and he's he's from Toronto. Well, actually, he's originally from Alberta, but he's working in Toronto, uh, and he's up for the papal role. And when asked he said it's all about finding the right pope for our time. The, 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 the key, key question is that among the many wonderful uh, possible people we might have could be the Holy Father, which one will uh, be the one for this time? And, uh, and so that's what we're mostly thinking and praying about, but really praying about right now. We've, there's been a lot of discussion. So as he said, it's a it's a bunch of discussion. It's a bunch, uh, really a uh, focus on praying, uh, on finding whoever that is that is the right pope for our time. I'm sure there's some sort of internal politics behind the decision, but he's saying it functions much like a Senate where, you know, they speak in order. There is somebody who sees oversees the whole process. That's a, a, a senior cardinal bishop from Italy who's going to sort of be uh, monitoring what's going on there. And as I mentioned, it's a secret ballot. The uh, cardinals cannot vote for themselves, but of course this is going to be a significant vote. It's already significant historically after Pope Benedict resigned, so we're going to be watching starting next Tuesday. And as I mentioned, our David Aikens there, so we're going to be bringing our viewers full coverage. Yes, certainly a lot to watch as it all unfolds this week. Thank you so much, Paige. Thank you. That was Paige McPherson in our Toronto newsroom.